Hi, right. Today I'm going to do, as I've been asked by a couple of followers, to do a video on my statement necklaces. So I've picked my favourites that I've had for years and the ones that hold special memories for me. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm obviously not going to change every single outfit, otherwise it would be here all day, but I hope you like. Um, the first one, which you can hardly see on black, but I just adore this one. I got it at Momo in San Francisco when the actual gallery was closed, as indeed it probably is now, so sad. Um, but the shop was open and I can't remember the designer, but that is so awesome for packing. So that brings back ha happy memories from going to California two years ago, two years ago, around now. Um, another one, while we're still on the black theme, a very dear friend of mine bought me this in Cornwall for my 60th birthday. Well, you know how old I am. So, um, you know how long I've had it. Isn't it awesome? So I think that's particularly good against black or indeed grey. And we found this in a little shop in Padstow in Cornwall. And I was only talking to her today because it's her big birthday today. Happy birthday, Di, if you happen to see this. And um, we both agreed as soon as this is all over, do you realise I now say before coronavirus, BC. So when um, coronavirus is over, we're going to go to Padstow and have a little break. How exciting. So much to look forward to. We'll get through this. We're in it together. Right. Um, okay, I'm going to do a colourful one. And, and you get an extra scarf tutorial at the same time. I must be conscious of the time, though because you know me by now, I like to listen to the government's press office every day at five o'clock when I'm walking Jack. Now this I would wear with a very plain top, yellow or, I think a little yellow cropped candy would look good with this. I found this in Montenegro when I went out there twice to speak at a conference. Um, and it was lovely. I met so many gorgeous people from Russia through to America to beyond. It was a special conference about ageing. Um, do you know, I can't remember what it was called. Ageing, happiness, happiness. Something like happiness. Anyway, it was all about ageing and positive ageing. And it was an absolute honour to be asked to talk there. Right. Um... This isn't long enough and it's a slippy one and I'm not actually sure if this isn't all too much. That's why you don't see me in many statement uh, necklaces because I'm so into my headscarves, especially now that it's still a bit chilly. So I would probably do something a bit like that so it's not completely over the top. So yeah, lovely find in Montenegro. So there you go and a different way to style your scarf. I would add, I would probably back comb the back because look how much better, sort of 60s vibe, that looks if you back comb your hair and give it a bit of height. I've kept my hair back because of all the scarf tying. Um, so that's a gorgeous one and it was a bit of a bargain in the market and it's heavy. Um, but it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? There you go, there's a close-up. Now, next... Oh, I haven't got any wonderful brown glasses to put on with this. But I would normally wear my brown, lovely specs with this. Um, right, I think it's that way around. This is a really good friend of mine in Byron Bay in Australia. She makes the most gorgeous jewellery and she does it out of vintage pieces. So every single necklace is actually vintage. These are vintage, all the little bits and the beads and the bobs, they're all vintage. So I feel that I've got a really original design. 
it's really reasonable um i'll put the details down below uh but i just love her stuff isn't that gorgeous and that works very well with black love it now oh we're getting there aren't many more actually this I found, this is pure vintage. I found it in a vintage store in Brighton, which I'm uh, making a face because sadly it disappeared about three years ago. The store did. Um, but that, if you can imagine it with blue, I think you've seen me wearing it with this shirt. So imagine that with this shirt. Looks absolutely awesome and just makes it all a bit dressier. And then I would wear a scarf. I can hear you all going, do another tutorial. Do you, do you know, I'm just going to devote a channel to tutorials. Right. Remember, equal lengths, tight around the back. I'm getting very good at this. I could do it in my sleep. Um, which I'm doing a lot of lately. Is anyone else sleeping an awful lot? Do you think it's anxiety? I have a siesta every day now. I go and lie down after the big walk with Jack um, and listen to a podcast or my audio book, meditate, whatever. And the next thing I know, I've been asleep for half an hour. Then I stay up a bit too late. Um, but I'm sure I'm not alone. So how's that? Yeah, you've seen this before, this scarf. Put the glasses on to complete the look. Now, is that, I see, I think that's too much. We've got all this going on and the glasses and the headscarf. I think I would do either or, but let me know what you think. But that's a very precious one to me because it's very vintage. A bit like me. Um, there you go. And... What have I got left to show you? Ah, oh, I think that's nearly it. That's it. But I do have another dress to show you. Come summer, when we're allowed out again, please. Gosh, I can't wait for that. Um, I think we're doing really well at the moment, but I don't know how we'll be in two months' time if it goes on that long. Three months, she mutters. Um, now, obviously, this, this isn't for here. Have I got this round the right way? Hang on. Hang on a minute. Yes, that is the right way. Um, this was my last trip to LA. And thanks to Ari Seth, oh, Ari Seth Cohen, who I'm sure you know, Advanced Style, who's become a bit of a friend. Love him. Hello, Ari, if you're watching. He loves me doing videos. Um... He suggested a wonderful place to stay, a wonderful, safe, nice pedestrian-ish area where you don't need a car, you can just walk around. Um, so I had my, it was called Los Feliz. So anyone in Los Feliz, hello. No hotels there, just Airbnbs. Um, I'll put this on properly. And, um, oh, right, this isn't, this isn't, yes it is. Um, and I found this in a little local store. So it always makes me happy and reminds me of Los Feliz. Um, and then I would probably use one of my Susie Sue scarves. Do you know about my Susie Sue scarves? They turn into tops. So if you're a bit chilly, you can um, pop one on. I'll show you in a minute. So I've worn this with great success summertime with this dress from love your look clothing just love her stuff all very ethical some of the parts are vintage um she has them made in india very often old vintage materials so i have a lot of her dresses um but look how nicely that necklace goes with this and again Glasses would be, I would just go for ordinary. I just put my specs on now because I can see you properly. There you go. Uh, last one, sorry, same jewelry designer in Byron Bay. This is one of my faves ever. So this is for my black outfits. I usually take this traveling because it just juices up any black top. 
Um, so there we are, a lovely Byron Bay artist who does everything from vintage beads and vintage bits that she finds. So I do hope, the scarf doesn't really go, does it? I should have that one on, um, but please forgive me. This isn't a scarf tutorial. This is a look round Susie statement necklaces. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do hope you're okay. I do hope you're staying safe and staying sane. That's my new hashtag, stay safe, stay sane. Um, and I would do as many of these as I have time for. So I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching.